guys. So here we are, tutorial time on YouTube. Um, this tutorial is gonna be for the T-step, but we're gonna do it from the view from behind because I've gotten tons of messages from you guys telling me that uh, the front view, you're having trouble learning the steps from the front view. So I'm gonna break down the T-step today from behind and I hope it helps you all out. Um, please leave a comment and let me know, give me some feedback about how it goes. Okay, so let's start with the T-step. You want to think about the counts first of all. First thing first is the counts. In shuffle dance, everything is on the whole count and the half count. So you're going to be counting and one and two and one and two and one and two or and one and two and three and four. But there's always going to be that half count, which we say and four. So and one and two and three. Um, so keep that in mind as we're learning the T-step, that's going to really help you out. If you can get that timing down, um, it will coordinate your mind with your feet and let's get going. Okay, you guys. So just starting with the basic T-step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have one leg that's traveling and one leg that is moving in the air. So it looks like this one leg is doing this, just touching down. And the other leg is doing heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. So just try the very first part uh, of the T-step. You would have touch with your heel and then back and then touch and back. So you have and one and two and one and two. Try that on the other side. So here you have this and just your heel, moving this heel. So you have and one and two and one and two. Okay, so let's try and add the next part. You have and one, now when you lift this, your moving leg, then you're gonna move your toe on the, the standing leg. And two. You have and one and two. So try it the other way. And one and two. And one and two. Okay, so let's try all that, just the basic T-step a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and one, and two. Other way, you have, and one, and two, and one, and two. Good, okay, so the next thing I want you guys to learn before we pick up speed is how to change directions. So anytime in the T-step that you're trying to change directions and you want to go the other way, instead of placing your toe down, what you're going to do is you're going to place your heel down, then you're going to step on this toe, on your, this toe and lift the other leg. So then your, your leg is free to touch down and go the other way. So again, it looks like you're doing toe, toe, and say you want to switch directions here, you step on your heel, then your toe and lift this leg to go the other way. And try it this way, then you have heel down, step on your toe and lift that leg. Here, here, heel and up. One and two and down and up. Okay, so that's with any kind of variation or any kind of style of T-step, that is going to be how you switch sides. So let's pick up speed with the basic T-step. We're gonna just do it a little bit faster and we're gonna use the heel on the last one to change sides. So we're gonna do three of them two, three, and on the fourth one, we're gonna change sides. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and heel down, switch. One, and two, and three, and heel down, switch. One, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. One, and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So that's the basic T-step. It's pretty simple. Um, I'd say to get used to doing the T-step, do a lot of, if you're brand new to shuffle especially, you can do a lot of exercises to help build the correct muscles for this step, which would be doing this on one foot back and forth. This is really good at building the right muscles to be able to do that, to go faster and to look more smooth. So don't be afraid to do those exercises, but let's try another variation of the T-step. This variation, it's the counts are all the same. Switching sides is the same technique. Um, 
The only thing that changes is the leg that's actually touching down is going to be going in different directions or it could be doing, it could be doing all kinds of things. So for this first variation, um, let's do it with our heel. So rather than doing this, we're actually gonna do this. Okay, really simple. So you're just reaching out like this, but you're just reaching out with your heel first. So you're just touching, tapping down with your heel. Okay, so it looks like this. You have, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. One and two and one and two, one and two. Faster, one and two and one and two, one and two and one and two. Whew. Okay, so that's the first variation. The next variation I wanna show you guys is um, heel and a toe. So heel and toe. So basically you're gonna have your moving leg, it's just gonna be slightly in front of the other one, the one that's traveling on the ground. And you're gonna do heel and then toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. This one is kind of like one of those brain exercises where you rub your tummy and pat your head because as this foot is doing this, you have to be in sync doing this. So if you need to, just get used to doing this for a minute. Heel, toe, heel, toe, you can even count it. And one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two. And one and two, and one and two, one and two. Okay, so let's try and put that together really slow. You have, and, so your heel is forward. Now you're gonna tap with your toe. Both your toes are gonna to work at the same time. And two, and one, and two, and one, and now let's do our heel down and switch sides. Two, and one, and two, and one, and two. So I think an easy way to remember this one is that when your heel is moving on the standing foot that's traveling, when your heel is moving, that's also the same time you're doing this heel. Then when your toe is moving, same time you're tapping your toe. So it's like heels and then toes, heels and toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's try that one just a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, Eight and one and two 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 and one and two. Whoo, okay. <laughs> I think I got caught up a little bit there. All right, so the next one we're gonna learn is this one's one of my favorites. All you're doing is the knee goes out and the knee goes in. The knee goes out and in, out, in. So rotate from the hip and push that knee out and then up in. So you have out, in, out, in. And I'm just doing like a little swivel on the ball of my foot. Um, or if you know, you could also tap it. Um, so whatever's comfortable for you, I don't think it really matters. I think actually tapping it might be a little bit easier so you're not like dragging your foot around. Um, but it looks like this. And one, and two, and one, and two. So. Let's try that. You have, so on the end, when you move your heel, your knee is gonna go out. And now everything goes, turns in. And two, and one, and two, and one, and two. Let's try the other side. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. So now let's try that and the same, the same applies for this variation when you're gonna switch sides. You, you're gonna do and one and two and one and two. See my legs up but you're just gonna automatically go and one and two and one and two. Let's try it. Six, seven, eight and one and two and one. Heel down and one and two and one heel down and one and two and one heel down two three heel down 
Yeah? Okay, so that's that variation. Um, the last variation I'm gonna show you guys here in this video is going to be kind of an introduction to rocking. Now we'll get into rocking in another video, but if you are a beginner, this is a really good way to prepare yourself for the next move you need for shuffle dance. So with the rocking, your traveling leg is always doing the same thing. It's just gonna be doing that. The moving leg, however, is going to be touching down in different directions. So for the first direction, we're gonna to touch back and then to the side with your heel and then in the front, kind of crossing your body a little bit. And then you're gonna do the switch to the other side. So what I mean is it's gonna look like and one and two across three and heel down, switch back, side, cross the front and switch. Okay, so from the back you have just practice your moving leg. You have back, heel on the side, cross a little bit in front, and then here to switch sides. So try that with both feet. You have, and one, and two, and three, and heel down, and back, one, and two, and cross front, and heel down, switch. So try it a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and switch. One, two, three, switch. Um, what was I going to say? So let's try that a little bit faster. I had something to say, but I forget. So moving on. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and switch. One, two, three, switch. This one is definitely tr uh, trickier. Um, oh, I know what I was gonna say is, even though the counting is and one, and two, and three, and four, it really honestly does not matter what, where you associate the and count or the whole count. For example, you could go and one, and two, or you could go one, and two, and three, and four. If that, does that make sense, hopefully? So it could be and one and two, or you could do one and two and. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter as long as you're doing every whole count and half count has movement, okay? So let's try that one just a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight, and one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Woo! <laughs> okay, you guys. That was my intro to the T-step. I hope um, the view from behind really helped. Uh, please leave me feedback and let me know how it goes for you. Okay, thank you so much. See you soon.